Thank you for coming. Thank you. This is a, another happy occasion. We're doing something. We, we check. We haven't done this before. We've never had a commission that is a statutory commission, a trade commission with a country. So now we're doing it. And that's going to open the door, we think, to even greater, greater things. So we have a number of people who will bring us some words, and we'll start with Representative Micah Keskey. Sneaking behind you. There he is. <laughs> Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Micah Kasky, and on behalf of Speaker Merle Smith, Chairman Bruce Bannister, and the South Carolina House of Representatives, uh, I just want to say uh, thank you to everyone who is here. Thank you for uh, being a part of this. Thank you to Consul General Groom. Uh, thank you to our friends in the Senate, President Alexander, uh, Senator Rickenbach, and Senator Setzler. Uh, today marks an important moment uh, for South Carolina and the uh, Republic of Ireland to advance bilateral trade and investment. This is a wonderful opportunity for the state of South Carolina to move forward in its international relationships and hopefully to advance mutual investment across both of our great places. Uh, we look forward to developing this relationship. We look forward to a fruitful and beneficial relationship uh, as we take advantage of Ireland's uh, place in the world as the gateway to the European Union. Thank you. Good afternoon, I'm Representative Heather Bauer, Representative House District 75. Um, my late grandmother, Dolores McNamara, would be very, very proud that we're doing this today. And I think just this, what this shows is that South Carolina workers can compete with anyone, anywhere, anytime, any place. And this is just the very beginning. And I was glad to have a small part in it, but very glad to be here today. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. First of all, I want to say thank you to the Governor of South Carolina, Governor McMaster, to the Secretary of Commerce, Harry Lightsey, to Senator Mark Daly, who is President of the Irish Senate, uh, all for their support of us as we were passing this legislation. Uh, also, the President of the South Carolina Senate, Sen Senator Alexander, and the sponsor of this legislation, Senator Reebok, from uh, Florence County, who did a tremendous job in working with us. House members have already been mentioned, and then Mark Duffy in the private sector, who was very active in what we did. Uh, this is a great day. To, to form this commission is a first step in many steps in our relationship with Ireland, not only in economic development and trade, but also in education, higher education. The legislation provides for collaboration and cooperation between the higher education institutions of Ireland and South Carolina uh, in research and development, knowledge infusion, and science and technology. Some of you may say, why Ireland? Ireland is a small country. Why are we interested in a trade commission with Ireland? Ireland is one of the fastest growing economies in the world. Their GDP per capita is $104,000. Their gross domestic product growth of their economy is 15% per annum. They, like South Carolina, are on fire. Ireland offers many things to us. First, it's the gateway to Europe. There's no question about it. Other people might say it isn't. It is the gateway because it's a member of the EU. It has a low corporate tax and it has a highly educated workforce, one of the best in the world. And we have companies from Ireland already in the United States. We have companies from the United States in Ireland. This will be a great partnership between these two, between Ireland and South Carolina. We thank you for being here. We look forward to it. We particularly thank Senator Rickenbach for his sponsorship of this legislation and President Alexander for his support. Thank you. What a pleasure to be here. It uh, almost feels like I'm giving birth today because as a newer senator, two years, this is the first bill um, that we sponsored that has come into fruition. And I say we because I legislate with my wife, Sharice. We are, I'm one half of the Senator of Florence County, and I would not be here if it wasn't for my wife, Sharice, because we did this together. Uh, uh, the question often comes up, 
how did, what's the genesis of this? Um, very briefly, Sharice and I were in Denver, and Mark Daly at the time was the president of the Irish Senate. We were in a conference room together at a legislative conference, and he said, I've heard about you a little bit. You're an accountant, did international business for many years all over the world. You're a business owner. You and your wife own dealerships. Let's talk business. And I said, let's talk business. And as Sharice and I were there with Senator Daly, um, we began to understand the incredible opportunities between Ireland and South Carolina, agricultural, manufacturing. Uh, there's so much opportunity for collaboration that we would have been remiss if we didn't come back and start conversations here uh, because as Senator Daly started this American Irish State Caucus idea, we realized this could be good for a South Carolina to see an opportunity to start to even decouple more from nations that would be our foreign adversaries, to back away from China, to back away from nations like that and do more trade, more foreign direct investment, more commerce opportunities with a fantastic, hospitable, growing, ambitious nation like Ireland. This would not have happened had it not been for Senator Setzler, who candidly has been someone who's been in there two years. Senator Setzler showed us so much on how to make this come to fruition. President Alexander, Secretary Leitze, obviously the governor, the lieutenant governor, so many people to thank. Uh, but this is the birth of something that is going to be good for South Carolina. And I want to say thank you for the opportunity because uh, it's a good day for South Carolina. We're open for business, as the governor says. Thank you. Thank you, Governor, Senators, Representatives, Friends. I'm delighted to attend this important signing event today, and I want to express my thanks to the Governor for his leadership and for the invitation here. At the outset, I'd like to acknowledge a number of key lawmakers from both parties that deserve a special word of thanks. And alongside the Governor, I'd like to thank the main bill sponsors of the bill, Senator Reichenbach, Sessler, Stevens, Cromer, Kimbrell, Johnson, Fanning, Bennett, Sheely, Rice, Williams, Allen, Gareth, Loftus, Saab, and Gustafsson. You can see we have a lot of friends. And President Alexander, too, I'd like to acknowledge your hard work on this. It's only through the hard work of all here that we have the commission today. And I'm grateful, and we're grateful, Ireland is grateful for all your efforts to achieve that. You know, Ireland and South Carolina economic relations are strong, and the establishment of this commission is going to make them stronger. The U.S. is one of Ireland's most important trading partners, and the success of this relationship is already evident in South Carolina. In the last number of years, we've seen Irish companies investing in this great state, and today we estimate about 1,500 jobs created by Irish companies, different sectors of the economy, and it's an expanding list. And importantly, this relationship is reciprocal, and I know, again, there's more that can be done in this space. And Ireland is committed to strengthening and expanding its trade investment in South Carolina, and I'm the new Consul General in this, to the Southeast. I'm here two months, my first visit to South Carolina, and I'm really delighted to be here, and what an occasion to be here for. Uh, and I'm keen to see this relationship grow. You know, the recent decision by the Governor, too, to open a South Carolina trade office to Ireland is also a welcome development in this regard, and we'll add to that and our efforts. And I say, as companies, it's already been mentioned here by some of the Senators, but as companies from South Carolina, South Carolina consider investment to Europe, consider investment to Ireland, it's worth recalling that while Ireland is small, 1%, of the EU's overall population. As a member of that club, it is a strategic launch pad and a route to market to 500 billion, or million people, half a billion people. So it's an incredible opportunity, we feel, and Ireland's well placed to support US investment off jumping into Ireland and off into the, into the European market. And I would recall as well that post-Brexit, Ireland is the only English-speaking common law country, and we're strongly committed to remaining a part of the EU uh, into the future. So during my brief time, I've been deeply impressed by how South Carolina's Depart e Commerce Department and all parts of your economic development system operate and your team operates. It's clear that South Carolina is a global state with an impressive history of foreign direct investment, and Governor McMaster has done a fantastic job in securing this investment. So in the coming years, I very much look forward to working together, to advancing and building on the success of today's announcement. Thank you. And in reference to what Senator Mike Rickenbaugh said, everybody thinks their baby is a beautiful baby, but this really is a beautiful <laughs> baby that we birthed today. Does anyone have a question? We got plenty of answers. No question. Let's go to the table.